paper. It's cold. Achoo! Yuck. My nose is running and it's freezing. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? What's that? Hmm. What was that? Looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Oh! Cynical, look! See that? Those trees are frozen. Wow. The snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward, and we'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Cinequil. I don't think Mudkip was hallucinating back there. I definitely saw that too. Some Pokemon was following us, watching us from afar. Cinequil, are you ready? Yep. Which way should we go? Mudkip and I explored the snow path, and we discovered that it just leads in a complete circle all the way back here. It's a good place for level grinding, I guess, but we don't need any of that. We're heading through the frosty forest. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be freezing cold, but let's try our best. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds. Is the intrusion to blame? It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. It was astonishing just how quickly the climate had changed. One minute we're scaling up an active volcano, and the next thing we know, we're traversing through a wintry forest. It was nice being a fire type Pokemon. My body was naturally warm, so it wasn't too bad for me to make my way through here. But I know that Mudkip was struggling to keep up. The freezing temperature didn't really allow us to stop and take a break. If anything, that would make us even colder. Mudkip stayed closer to me than usual, using my back as a source of warmth. It was a little weird, but I'm glad that I was able to help them along the way in their time of need. Ah! Welcome! As we progressed through the forest, we came across a familiar face. It was Kecleon. At first I was worried. I thought that the Pokemon that were chasing us had finally caught up to us, but it turns out that it was another Kecleon entirely. They seemed to be running a shop in the middle of a dungeon. The Kecleon brothers in Pokemon Square told me about this a while back. They said that they have several brothers and sisters who run shops all over the world. Whether it's in a town or in a dungeon, you could always count on one of them being there to offer special merchandise. I guess it's sort of like the Kangaskhan statues that we've been seeing. I questioned how safe it would be to have a shop being run in the middle of a dungeon though. I was concerned that someone might try to rob the Kecleon, who had to protect their wares all on their own. But it turns out that the Kecleon shopkeepers are ridiculously strong. Like, unbelievably so. It's basically impossible to steal from them and get away with it. If anyone were to ever cross them, they would never be able to make it far. I don't know if all that strength comes from experience or paranoia, but one thing's for certain, you definitely don't want to cross these Pokemon. Mudkip warned me not to so much as even pick up any of the merchandise unless I'm prepared to buy it. 
if I had accidentally picked something up and stepped off of the carpet without having the money to pay for it, I wouldn't even get a chance to put it back down. The shop owner would immediately assume the worst and attack us with all of its might. I didn't even take the chance. We got out of there as quickly as possible. Besides, we don't need this guy reporting back to his brothers on where we are. Still though, how in the world did all these Kecleon get so powerful? And are they really invincible? Perhaps if we had a warp seed, we could escape to the next floor without having to fight them. What am I saying? I'm not a thief. I would never do such a thing. But maybe I would have back when I was a human. Perhaps I might be reverting back to my original state of mind. No, that's ridiculous. It was just a random thought, nothing more. I can't keep being so hard on myself. Let's just keep moving forward. Luckily for us, we never had to fight any Kecleon along the way, but what we found at the end of this grotto wasn't much better. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? Cinequil, did you say something? I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you've defeated me. Ow, it's so bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. It was the last of the legendary bird Pokemon, the legendary ice type Pokemon Articuno. Just like the others, it had a short temper and wasn't willing to listen to reason. We were just passing through, but it didn't matter. We were locked in combat from the moment we saw each other. Thankfully, I was able to use my fire type moves to deal lots of damage, on top of my smoke screen which gave us a little extra time. But as for Mudkip, they didn't have that many options. Their ground attacks didn't do much of anything, and their water gun wasn't all that special either. This was a fight like no other. Incredibly intense. On top of the freezing climate, we really didn't have much breathing room, but we made it this far, and we just gotta keep on pushing forward. A while back, it would have been impossible to even imagine defeating the other two legendary bird Pokemon, but we did it, because we had to, and the stakes are higher than ever before now, so we have to just keep trying. No matter how fast it is, or how strong, even if we're outnumbered, we always shine through in the end, because we have to. We've come way too far to give up now. I'll say it as many times as I need to. There is nothing that will stop us from discovering the truth. Please, Articuno. We have to get through, no matter what it takes. Please let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. W warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We, we don't have anything to do with that. 
It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. It isn't our fault that the snow started melting here. It's not just here. Natural calamities are taking place everywhere right now. The forest fridge's airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it. Uh, Absol! There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is... is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno! However... Ah! You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Whew, that was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Mm -mm. I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Axel. <laughs> 